Title, It's Past Your Bedtime. Honduras lands the curfew hammer after a high-stakes pool game turns deadly. TLDR, tragic massacre at a Honduran pool hall prompts President Hiamara Castro to flex her security muscles. After 11 souls were claimed in a brutal firefight, she is fighting back with curfews, raids, and checkpoints in a bid to stem the escalating tide of drug trafficking-linked violence. It's an aggressive move, but will it be enough to turn the tide? We're all familiar with the idea of a curfew, that moment in your teens when mom and dad demand your home before the streetlights flicker on. But in Honduras, it's not about sneaking in past curfew after a hot date, it's a matter of life and death. So, here's the deal. Late Saturday night, the usual clinking and clattering of pool balls in a hall in Coloma in northern Honduras was replaced by the terrifying staccato of gunfire. When the smoke cleared, ten men and one woman lay dead, victims of a horrifying massacre. Now, in response, President Hiamara Castro isn't playing games. She's issued curfews, announced around-the-clock raids and checkpoints, and has vowed to wrestle control over the prisons. But, why all this commotion? Why the violent upheaval in an otherwise ordinary pool hall? It's a cocktail of drug trafficking-linked violence, folks. And it doesn't stop at the pool hall. Days prior, a bakery in the city of San Pedro Sula became a target, with three folks, including the wife of an alleged associate of the former president Juan Orlando Hernandez, who's cooling his heels in the US for, you guessed it, drug trafficking-related charges, biting the dust. And if that wasn't enough, Central Honduras saw a bloodbath at a women's prison in Tamara with 46 inmates losing their lives at the hands of Barrio 18 gang members. Yes, this all seems like a bad action movie, but it's the grim reality facing the citizens of Honduras. President Castro's response is a complex web of security measures, curfews in Coloma and San Pedro Sula, 24-7 checkpoints and raids, and control measures over prisons to prevent the influx of weapons and drugs. And yet, one has to wonder... Are these measures just a band-aid solution on a gaping wound of systemic corruption and organized crime? So, here's a question for you, when is a curfew not just a curfew? When it's a desperate bid to regain control of a country slipping into a violent abyss. But what do you think? Will President Castro's strong-armed approach succeed in pushing back the shadows? Or are we watching a game of pool where the balls have already been set in motion, and it's only a matter of time before they crash into each other once more? Let's hear your take on this. Can curfews and checkpoints quell the tide of violence, or is it high time for an entirely new strategy?